Hi everyone, Phil from tech for Tex here. Today we're going to be looking at this Alexa RGB RAM. I'm pretty sure this is their first RGB RAM product, if not their first RGB product altogether. And this is the Hades RGB DDR4 OC memory. It's got a standard speed of 3600 megahertz, so it should be pretty quick. And we've got the 32 gigabyte kit which is two sticks of 16 gigabytes and we're going to test it see what it looks like see what the rgb effects like and how it performs and how stable it actually is if you're interested in more information about purchasing this or the price click the links in the description below and it will take you to the cheapest prices available in your area Before we go on to the main video, if you would do us a favor, click that like button, subscribe, click the bell as well. And that way you'll get notifications of new videos and live streams we do. Again, doing all these things helps support the channel and helping to support the channel allows us to release more videos, better quality videos and more content exclusively just for you. Okay, as you can see, we've got the Lexar Hades RGB DDR4 OC memory. It's obviously a twin pack this one, so it's two sticks of 16 gigabytes equal in 32, and we've got the 3600 megahertz kit. Uh, it's all your standard RGB efficiencies and works with your stuff like your Aura, RGB Fusion and stuff for all your different motherboards and controllers. So in basics, as long as you've got a board, what's got RGB, effects on it it should work no problem so that's pretty much it from there you can only just see the rgb at the top there it sort of bends over the top similar to a lot of other manufacturers on there but it's nice to see lexar are bringing out some performance uh, memory which does actually have rgb on it side of the boxes are just red there's not much other than the name on the top and bottom on the back it gives you a bit more specifications there if i can stop it wobbling about but it tells you about uh, the RGB overclock memory, offers next level performance and so forth, all the usual oomph. Uh, but it's basically 1.35 volts, it's 288 pin, it supports XMP 2.0, operating temperature is zero to 85 celsius and the form factor is 137.8 millimeters by 45.6 millimeters so uh, and 6.2 millimeters deep which doesn't really matter but the height which is 45.6 millimeters make sure that will fit underneath your cooler if you've got a cooler in your pc which has got low ram clearance then this may not be the RAM for you. But if you've got plenty of room or you're using a stock cooler, this should fit with no issue at all. Okay, so the contents of the box is pretty straightforward. You have got two sticks of memory in there. There's no manuals or instructions or anything like that, which is pretty good. All the information you really need is on the box. So I commend them for that, not supplying unneeded documentation. Now, obviously, you can find out more information on their website if you wish. And also, it does state on the box, you can download their own RGB software. So if you do struggle getting it working with your motherboard software, you can get uh, the Lexar RGB Sync software at lexar.com, which should be pretty good. But looking at the memory sticks, let's look at either side so you can see what it looks like from both sides. So the one side, all it says on it is Lexar. So there's no marketing oomph or anything on there other than their name. No serial numbers or anything on that side. On the reverse side, you can obviously see the serial number, the model number, recycle marks, and all your different bits like that. But otherwise, they look identical. It's just there's basically a little sticker on one side. So in theory, you could peel it off if you wanted. But bear that in mind, that would void your warranty more than likely if you need to return it for any reason. But that's up to you. In most cases, when you've got them on a motherboard, you're going to be looking at it at that angle, and you'll never see the model number anyway. But saying that, the white area at the top is the RGB area, so that's the bit what's going to be lit up. So as you can see, it takes up probably the top, 
I'd say 15 or 20 percent uh, as well as the top rim all the way across and then the same on the other side it does seem to say Lexar on that little bit there not sure if you can see it on the camera it does say Lexar there as well the other stick is exactly the same the PCB does look like from what I can tell it is black or at least a very very dark green if it is but it does look black so it blends in with the heatsink itself otherwise not much to see to be honest with you until we get it inside the machine if you're not sure how to fit memory in a machine just in case uh, I'm gonna say I would always advise taking it to an independent computer store anyway if you uh, do struggle but here's the motherboard there's nothing else on it no CPU or anything but basically you've got several slots on the board check your manual because it, some are slightly different in the way you position them some people will tell you to place the memory closer to the CPU in the first slot and then skip one and the second one or they'll tell you to start on the outside so put one there then skip one and one there so but it doesn't really matter too much in all honesty you may find you might get a little bit more clearance from the cpu cooler if you've got a big one if you put it on that slot and that slot rather than the one closest and so forth but if you look on this board they are color coded so you know which two go together so you can see this one's more gray and this one's more gray that's black and black so for example if you were putting it on here i would put it on the outside lane here and you just press down it should just clip in both sides don't use anything daft like a hammer and then the same again normally you would have this in your case already or you'd have it on a mounting board or something like that or a piece of cardboard so you don't push down directly onto a hard surface and damage the pins on the bottom of the board again this is just a dummy board so it doesn't work anyway it's just been sent to us for demonstration purposes but as you can see that's how it looks inside the machine so when you do turn it on all this bit here is going to light up which we'll show you in a few seconds okay so we've got the ram installed in the machine you can just see it there lit up uh, it's on sort of a breathing action at the moment or whatever you want to call it but you can change that using the lexar software to get their software just go to lexar.com go to where it says support at the top and then download and then another page will come on when it gets there then you choose memory oh, we want you to choose what country you're in first so bear with me one second fly down that list as you can probably guess I'm from the United Kingdom so United Kingdom press OK and then click on memory and then that should come up with another page it will show you download memory I'm presuming you don't actually download the physical memory but it shows you there software firmware and it shows you Lexar RGB Sync. Click the little plus sign and it get, tells you Lexar RGB Sync for Windows. You click that, download, run the program. It's about a free meg download or something like that. It was very small. And once you've installed it, it'll ask you to restart the machine. And then you can open the software on your machine. And there's a Lexar RGB Sync software up here. Obviously, it depends how your screen set where it'll place it but that's it so basics is you've got preset light and effects so you've got static you can choose the color you want let's say green press apply and hopefully the ram should turn green uh, it might take a couple of seconds possibly oh here we go yes yeah, so you can choose each individual led on there so i get it so you can choose each individual led so if you want half of it green and half of it let's say pink or purpley depending on what you want to call that press apply uh, there's a bit of white is there which i forgot to do press apply and you can see the ram now is half green half pink or purple or whatever you want it to be for some reason that led 7 there doesn't want to change color to any other color which is a little bit strange the others work fine must be just a glitch in the software but uh, yeah as you can see it doesn't seem to want to actually change LED 7 for whatever reason it's stuck on white but if you go on to breathing mode press breathing then press apply and you will see that it actually starts breathing again in this color selection you've chosen there so that's obviously up to you you've got an option what says sync uh, you can press apply on that so that syncs to LED 1 which is the first colour you choose so everything will be green so again up to you you can change the speed and the brightness as well you've got strobing so if you press apply on strobing 
it will obviously strobe between all the different colours. At the moment, obviously, because we've just got it set up as green, it's just going to do it as green. So I'm just going to press the reset button, press apply, and it'll do it all in the multicolours. You've also got cycle mode. So if I press apply on that, you'll see it changes between all the different colours. You've got rainbow, which you can probably guess what that does. So it basically gives you a rainbow effect and you've got an option for reverse. And then you've also got breathing rainbow. So that's the same thing, but it sort of dims and comes in and out at the same time. So there you go. Uh, you've got comet, which I'm guessing is a sort of a stripe effect. Yeah, and there you go. And again, you can choose the color you want. So if you want it doing that in blue, just click the blue, press apply. And there you go, it's doing it in blue and you can adjust the speed and brightness. And then you've got Comet Rainbow as well. You can just obviously press apply on that or adjust the speed. There isn't a huge amount. But I'll do a few close-ups of those in the B-roll for you so you can actually see them as well. So overall, we've given the RAM a stress test for 48 hours using a program called PC Check. UEFI, which is from Eurosoft. It's basically an industrial strength testing program designed for uh, PC engineers, system integrators and stuff to test components as well as do stress tests and stuff like that. So basically it managed to go through 48 hours without any glitches or issues, which is pretty good. I did have a few slight issues getting it set up on the Gigabyte Fusion software, so Gigabyte's own RGB software. It failed to pick up numerous times, updated the software, failed, and then suddenly out of the blue it just appeared and worked and no problem after that. I took it off again and put it back on and it still worked. Tried it on another motherboard, didn't have an issue. So I'm guessing that was just a slight issue with the Gigabyte software. Um, but again, if you do have issues, you can always download the Lexar software, which is an added bonus, uh, and change the colouring that way. Because obviously, if you're having issues with the software, it usually, you well, you're stuck. So... But it's nice to have some nice RGB RAM, a good speed, as well as a very stable. I can't do anything but highly recommend this product. Thank you for watching this video, everyone. It's really appreciated you made it all the way to the end. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and even click that bell so you get notifications of new videos and live streams. It does help support the channel, and supporting the channel basically means that we can release more content for you, and also better quality content going forward. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.